Okay, all right, we're back from Home Depot. We're fixing to go ahead and uh, install this thing. And I'm gonna show you all the parts, everything that I needed. You may need additional stuff if your house is different, wired differently or whatever, but uh, for now, I just wanted to show you. This is my house, it's a basic size house, 1,385 square foot. I don't have a huge house or a little house, uh, but uh, this thing works on my house, which is more modern. You can tell it's a little bit more modern. So you may have a fuse box, and then that means you're going to have to do a whole bunch of stuff versus if you have like a breaker box. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and install this. Start looking at uh, what we got to do to get prepared to install this stuff. Okay, all right. So one of the first things we're going to need to look at is you're going to need to shut off all the power to your house. It would be wise. You could theoretically, depending on which box you're working on, shut off the box in front of the box that you're going to be working on. For instance, in my case, I wasn't able to uh, hook it up to my external breaker box located on the side of my house because when they built my house, which was only a couple years ago, they only gave me enough breakers in that box uh, to take care of everything I had at the time, so there's no room for me to add any breakers in that box but there was a little bit of room in my interior breaker panel which covers my most of my regular household stuff uh, but anyway so you know but even in my case it's a lot easier just to go ahead and, and shut this thing here off okay so you probably have something like this a little meter dealy um, but uh, in my case uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this little panel down here at the bottom when I open that up you're gonna see one switch in there. It shuts off power to the entire house. Okay, there it is. See that little switch under there? You just wanna flip that baby. And once you flip that, power will be off to your house. As you can see, it's located right underneath the uh, meter. Okay, once that's off, power to your house should be off. Okay, this is my exterior breaker box located on the outside of my house as you can tell by looking at the siding. Okay, um, basically I'm going to open this up. Now my, my box I couldn't mount here, but you may be able to mount yours here. So I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of it so you can see what you've got going on and compare it to mine. All right, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and then uh, start going through bit by bit the information that you're more than likely going to need to know. Okay, here it is opened up. And if you look carefully inside, you will see I have a dryer, inside panel, range, water heater, furnace, and air conditioner. Okay, now if you look underneath here, you will see uh, down here all these little spaces where it looks like I can add breakers. But uh, as I'm going to show you here in a minute, that, that's not really the okay, case. You can see by looking in there, that is what it looks like inside the breaker box. And uh, if you look closely, you can see. that there is no place underneath here for me to stick basically down here should be some contacts uh, if you had room if you had additional room you'd have contacts there but unfortunately they they stopped my contacts come from here and they stop right underneath there uh, they don't come down all the way uh, so I wasn't able to stick it in here although when I was testing it with my amp meter I did in fact take out this top right one which is my water heater and I disconnected these and plugged it into this because this happens to be a 30 amp two pole breaker I did disconnect these two wires and put it in there just so I could do a test and I stuck my amp meter on the positive here and the positive here and I did see in fact uh, pretty much identically I saw pretty much exactly what the guy had described on the other video which I'm gonna post you a link to uh, in my 
uh, comment section or the part where I talk about the video on the right hand side under my name where it says more information I put a link in there to his video so you can see the amp meter showing the readings that uh, that I also confirmed I got now I'll be honest with you I'm a cheapskate so after I got the uh, amp meter and tested this I noticed that the amp meter didn't have a power factor rating so I took it back to Home Depot and uh, wanted to exchange it for another one but uh, it turned out they didn't have one with a power power factor rating so I just bought, didn't bother I'll wait and buy another one another day so I took mine back it was cost me like 50 bucks you can get them cheaper I was in a hurry so but you can go online and find them ch uh, an amp meter cheaper but if you if you don't want to take my word and and, and you don't want to take the word of the guy with the video but uh, anyway so you know I noticed uh, 12 point I, had, I turned everything off ran my air conditioner only my air conditioner and I saw some reading like 13 on one on one of them it was 13 on the other it was uh, 12 or something and I saw both of those after I turned on the power the, the power saver I saw both of them go down by about three amps somewhere around three amps on each one of these cables uh, which was at that point satisfactory to me I had some confusion as to whether it had to be right at the top where the power is coming in before it goes to the others or did it need to be located at the top or the bottom or what have you don't worry about any of that apparently it doesn't matter where it is according to the other video which I again will post a link to uh, but I actually tested it I tested it at the top and then I put it down here at the bottom uh, where my range is and the same readings everything was the same when the, when the power saver was off uh, 13 somewhere around 13 and on one of these one these are two one basically you have 100 amps coming in and another 100 amps each one of these has 100 amps in my breaker box you need to check your breaker box it'll tell you on the breaker box um, what what kind of breaker box you have like for instance down there on that label if I can zoom in I don't know if you can see it but right there it says cutler hammer that's the type of breaker box this is and you're gonna need to know what type of breaker box you have because when you go to buy a breaker all breakers are not the same so when you go to buy your breaker your 30 amp two pole breaker um, you're gonna need to know what kind of box you have so you can buy the right one now I'll show you I'm gonna show you all the uh, different kinds of breakers that I saw while I was at Home Depot mine is a cutler hammer but apparently there's two cutler hammers mine is the one with the beige looking buttons uh, there are some others that don't have that um, but mine hooks into these side parts right here locks into them it has a little hook shaped like this on the on the edge and it hooks onto these edges and then locks into place but they go in very easily and I'll show you that on my interior breaker <laughs> shortly here but uh, anyway so you need to know what kind of box you have so that you can buy the right breaker